Hey, how's it going, guys? I think everything is coming on. I hope everything is working here. We are back with another live stream today, two in a row, which is kind of strange, but we are actually playing Minecraft. Um, fun, fun, fun. Let's get into this. So, we are doing Productive Bees in this episode. I'm not 100% sure how far we'll get into it. I don't know if there's been any changes since the last time we looked at it. Um... And I also don't know where I want to do the Productive Bee setup. Because I don't think I want to do it in the base. So, it also is raining. Which is fantastic. Every time I try to record, it's raining. Um, I'm kind of thinking we may just kind of figure out an area nearby. But I'm not really seeing one. We got a cherry area down here. Ooh, what is this? I have never seen... I don't even think I've saw this. Hold on. It's kind of getting distracted, apparently. Real quick. Where are you guys? You're just a bee? Uh, mob cage. Imprisonment tool thing here. We're just gonna... Yoink. That guy. Uh, let's see. Where did that other bee just go? Mason bee? Ooh, we'll take you. I'll need you in a later date. Okay, man, this snow is really irritating. There's no rain shield or anything that I could find. To just, like, get it away from the base. Uh, hold on. What am I doing? Let's go get in the hammock. Let's set it to nighttime if it's not gonna be nighttime. What are you? Oh, you're a little starbuncle. It's a different color that I'm used to. Can I sleep yet? Oh, come on. <laughs> um. Just set it out here real quick. Uh, I think that's enough. No, it's needed to be one more. Wait, what help it how big did this just say? 1.2 gigs? Goodness gracious. Okay. So there we go, we've set that. Let's see. So do I have any other B stuff. I do have an advanced oak beehive. I have productivity alphas for some reason. Sturdy bee cages and that's it. Okay. So I may need to go find some bees. I don't think that'll be a problem. But let's quickly take a peek at quests here. Because I don't know if there's a quest line of any capacity. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I don't see a quest line in here. Oh, right there. Productive bees. Uh, in productive bees, you don't spend most you don't spend most of your time flying around trying to find certain bees. Instead, you spawn them using nests with honey treats. Yeah, yeah, we know this. So we just need to make a honey treat. So we actually have honey treats. But it looks like I may need... Oh, it's up here. Hold on. So we need to just get honeycombs and the other thing. So we do need to look for a beehive. So let's go try and find a forest and see if we can snag up a couple more bees. So I would assume probably best idea to go find a forest. This looks like a nice little forest. Okay. So I see we've got this nest here. Uh, I'm actually going to cardboard box this. Oh, I can't cardboard box beehives. Okay. Um, so cobblestone. Um, and then a campfire. Okay. 
Okay. We still never checked that out. I need to go up there. And then let's get some bottles. Okay. And then I think I need a silk touch or something to pick this up. Uh, I don't even know. I don't remember. Okay, that worked. Perfect. So it looks like we actually have quite a few different uh, beehives and stuff around here. So let's snag this guy up. Where'd he just go? Okay. So I see that we're probably going to have to do some honey stuff first before we do anything. So let's take this log out. Okay, and then we're going to bottle. And we're going to silk touch it. I don't I think we could probably use just shears in all honesty for those, but I genuinely can't remember because 1.15 is kind of when I stopped really paying attention to Minecraft updates. Okay, so we've got a yellow carpenter bee. We can actually grab some bee cages here. Sturdy bee cages is what we got. So we'll grab that. Let's see, and I would assume there's probably some birch nests and stuff around. But that's okay. Do to do, campfire. Okay, so that is a full nest of bees, so that'll be helpful. No pun intended. Oh, there's another nest. Got two bees. Okay. We aren't really talking too much about why we're grabbing all these different other bees rather than just normal Minecraft bees, but we will get there. We will get there. Our chicken. Because these actual bees here, these uh, carpenter bees, wherever this carpenter bee just went, this guy right here, he's actually, they're not really that useful um, off the rip. And I'm pretty sure we'll have to look at certain types of these bees. Oh, here we go. So we want a lot of normal bees right now is really what I'm shooting for. But grabbing the other guys isn't too bad. Uh, what, are you, what are you? Yellow carpenter? And we'll snag it. Yeah, and these things aren't craftable either. Okay. Okay, so let's head back up. I think we've got a decent start. There's more bees right here. Hold on. What are you? Just a normal... You're a digger bee. And you are a bee. Get rid of some of that stuff there. Toss all of our bee stuff in there for just a second. Okay, where did that other bee just go? So we've got uh, another mason bee and another mason bee. Fantastic. Okay, what what is in here real quick? This is an iron spell book type of thing? Okay. I don't know anything about iron spells really, but we'll look. Okay. Nothing really interesting. Okay. 
Yeah, nothing interesting. Anyway, carrying on here. Let's get back up to our base. There's like a dungeon or something there too. Fancy schmancy. But I think we want to set this down here in this cherry grove, right? I think this sounds like a good thing. Just like temporarily at least. So let's get uh, that stuff cleared out. Let's put that away. Kind of get a pretty decent sized area. So how do we go about this? So we do have beehives, right? We have different types of beehives. The normal ones are here, which require honeycomb. So I definitely don't have any honeycomb. Honey seeds? Which require honey... Yeah, we're... Okay. So we're going to have to do some normal bee shenanigans first off. Okay. And that sounds fine by me. Um... So let's grab... Oh, come on. I ain't got time for you. Just because I, I need to probably get a Megatorch grid set up here on the top layer. But I haven't done that. So we're just going to come over here and we're going to set that torch right there. That should help us a little bit. <clears throat> okay. So let's grab some glass. Some normal, everyday, fantastic glass. And what we're going to do, is we're going to go one, two, let's see, because we're going to have our bee, I think we could actually set the beehive right here, right? And then they only go out the front, if I'm not mistaken. So if I get... Uh, one that has all three Bs, which I don't know which one does. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to see it either. Um, we'll just, we'll be okay. We'll place them all down anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab flowers. Um, that'll work. We're going to want to try placing that there, placing that there. And how many bees do we actually have in here? One bee. So we picked the absolute wrong one. Hey, Rockstar, how you doing? Um, I think we're just going to need another campfire, right? So we know there's one bee left in this nest. Which means that we don't want to use this guy. We probably want to use that guy. That's perfect. But I hope your research proposal stuff is going, is going good. So how would I want to actually mess with this? Because um, I could do a dispenser with shears. My day has been doing has been going good. Um, I know I uh, live streamed earlier today, where I went and did uh, some hell divers, hell divers two, which is pretty fun. So you know, been having a blast. There's got to be something better than what I'm trying to do. Because if I got to the premium shears, I think that's a waste. Hold on. Um, could, we could overcomplicate this really quickly if we wanted to. Let me check something out here. Um, 
but yeah, I hope yours has been doing is has been going good. Um, man, I don't have I don't have anything for this, do I? I thought I had more stuff, but I wanted to look at a block reader. I wanted to check something out while we're kind of in this process here. Uh, do, do, do. So I think I said something. They won't break. I mean, I could. I think. Can you convert normal shears? Hold on. Into silent gear. Living shear. That's interesting. I don't know. This, oh, yeah, they do have shears. <laughs> Some interesting ideas. Oh, yeah, I need to attach a cable to this, don't I? I forget, it doesn't become an actual clickable entity until you do that. I was just curious what we can see with this. Um, so it doesn't look like you can see anything with this. On that, at least. Huh. Um, I thought the block reader was what I was thinking of. They could, like, do a lot more. But that didn't read basically anything from what I saw. Maybe I was just missing something, though. Um, do these, like, because I don't ever mess with beehives. Genuinely, I really don't mess with a lot of newer stuff from, uh, mod from modern Minecraft. So this outputs at a power of five. Okay, so let's see. So with that knowledge, if I were to do a campfire, because I don't want these guys to get mad at me, if I did a campfire and I took a uh, pair of shears, I think, because that's honeycomb, right? Shears is honeycomb. And sheared that, okay? So now it is complete. And I put this back. So this outputs of zero. Okay, so that's an idea. It's a hive hopper? Uh, because I didn't even I don't even see, I tell you, I don't know anything about this. Hive hopper. I I've heard of that. Thermal uh let's see. Cultivation, I think. It not cultivation which one is it yeah hive hopper now that might work hmm Carefully extracts products from beehives. Good for bees and keepers alike. Buzz, buzz. But does this just convert it into... What what upgrades would you be able to throw in this thing? Um, I would think probably um, resonant, right? Because you'd be able to increase the capacity at which this holds. Perfect. That's overkill, but... I mean, that works. So my only real question... Is could we do this in the nether? But I think productive bees breaks that, doesn't it? Honey and combs? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. We'll go with it. 
Yeah, I, I genuinely just have never used it, so that's why I didn't think about it. But it is good to know that they actually send out a comparator signal. I genuinely didn't know that. But I also think that in default, um, once the dispenser, which is what you put the shears in, it only uses the durability when it's actually successfully able to get a honeycomb. I, I highly doubt it works with uh, with anything productive bees. But I, like, man, if this worked in the nether, I want to try it, but I also just don't want to waste time. I don't know. Anyway, um, because this is going to be our biggest hiccup for quite a while, right? Is being able to get enough, uh, honey and honeycombs to survive, which means that we probably should put this with mystical agriculture to then get the, um, the honey seeds. I think that probably is a good option. I think. We'll probably try and combine those a little bit. Um, flour. So that only has two bees. To be or not to be. That is the question. I'm just kidding. Um... But I mean, once we get enough stuff from the actual bees as of current, we should be able to get into productive bees and get the uh, different hot, uh, different upgrades and stuff. Alt, shift, click to clear. Huh. That's actually pretty cool that they give you the ability to clear that. Yeah. Okay, so I probably want to get another B in this. Nope. Your home is there. Perfect. And I know if we got into a Dust of War going souls, that would probably increase this like tenfold. I don't even doubt it. Um, but I don't want to do that right now. Kidnap. Bee nap more like, but that's okay. Let's see. Uh, mob imprisonment tools or bee cages or something. I've already used all my bee cages. Shucks. Huh. And bee cages themselves, right? They're expensive because you require honey. You could also get them from them. We could automate that partially. Where's the last bee? Oh, he's in my inventory, right? Let's, like, see if he'll get... Get in that hive real quick so I can just take all three of them. Maybe. Come on. Work. So this honey can just probably be put in like a fluid thing, right? I would think. Honey from Suef Core. Yeah, fluid encapsulator. Mob Yoinkers. That sounds hilarious. Oh, yeah, this thing right here. Shift. Mob Bell in the world. Oh, we got the Undergarden in here? I actually did not know we had the Undergarden in this pack. That is something to look at. Okay, let's get... 
another little thing set up here. Perfect. And then another hive hopper. Yeah, I think originally, back when the Undergarden uh, first came out, I think it was like Dire Wolf. I, I played it in the Dire Wolf 1.16 pack. Like, I enjoyed it, but then after a while, it just became something that I really couldn't look forward to as much. But, you know, people have preferences. That's for sure. Am I not in... I'm right on the boundary of a chunk. That was perfect. Uh, perfect planning on my part. I'm really tired of coral tombstones. Honestly, it's one of the most annoying tombstone mods I've ever messed with. Because like, honestly, I don't like the fact that it gives you like perks and stuff. It, I, it's interesting, it's fresh of an idea, but man, I just could not care about it. <laughs> uh, that is not the right ender chest. I need a bone uh, white dye, bone meal white dye, something like that. So we're going to export all of our honeycombs in here. Perfect. Yeah, but honestly, I just prefer something simple. Because um, I know there's like a whole bunch of different enchants and levels and all that different stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, my thing is, is if you name yourself Corel Tombstones, like, in the name, it's got Tombstone, I expect it to just do Tombstones. Like, that, I think it's just misleading. Like, I feel like there should be a name that implies that it's, like, dealing with, kind of, like, death, in a sense, or something. Um, like, Tombstone just doesn't, it doesn't have that ring to me, and it kind of threw me off whenever I first heard about the mod and looked into it, it just, it didn't seem like that's what it was supposed to be. Yeah, you know, so that, that's just my thing. I think it, if you were looking for a tombstone mod, that thing's just overkill. But I don't know. Um, let's quickly go back home and see if we can unchunk load an area or two. Because this whole thing needs to be gone, basically. Because we, we still have some stuff to move, but not enough to really matter. I'm going to take all this with me real quick. Where's my axe? Right there. That's a lot of villagers. It's a lot of villagers, huh? Okay. New base. Uh, let's see. I did not mean to throw that away. We're just gonna quickly set this up and then tear it down here in a second. Because I want to get some honey seeds real quick. Yeah, that is one thing I will admit that I do like, is the teleporting key. 
That is, a, it's a really good feature. I, I just wish there was a light version. Because I like some of the features, but all of them, that's my problem. It's just, I kind of wish there was a little bit less. Uh, let's see. So, honey seed. It requires honey agglomerato, agglomeratio, whatever it's called. And we are out of honey bottles. Okay, so let's grab a fluid encapsulator. Which I do have one of. And let's grab some bottles. And let's head back over to the area. Which, where was that actually at? So I do not recall now. Over here. Perfect. Whee! It's not what I meant to do. Okay, let's chunk load this area. Perfect. And then let's get... A little bit more of this figured out here. So flux point Guess I didn't really need to push this away, did I? There we go. Um and we'll just have to think about getting some uh some sort of bottle creation or something over here. But for right now, I think we're fine. So can I get more? Just a wee bit more, eh? Okay. So that should be good for now. Back up to the mountain. Okay. So what else do we need? The Prudentium and Seed Base. Mystical Agriculture. But I also may just be stuck in my ways of liking things simple. Um, in all honesty, with when it comes to certain mods. Can I get one of these? I can. Oh, stupidly expensive, but I'll get one. And I don't think I have any insane um, farmland left. Ooh, I have one piece. How's everything going? I haven't looked in a minute. 10,000 cocoa beans. Uh, 5,000 bamboo. 2,000 bamboo leaves. 29,000 sugarcane. Let's see. Still pretty good over here. Cactus. 53,000 cactus. I probably should get a furnace or something to make cactus green or something automatic. But let's get over here to our little insane uh, farm of botany pots. Just place that down. Place this down. Grab a create wrench. Probably grab an advanced pipe upgrade. And that should be sending us off to the races. Fantastic. Uh, and then let's go top side. Actually, I guess I need storage side, don't I? Storage side. Um, let's get a drawer functional... And let's grab eight of these. And then uh, that should be good for honeycomb.
Okay. If I can actually get them placed in here real quick. I guess I need one more drawer. Hold on. I completely forgot I just put this stuff down. And I actually scratched that. I need two drawers because I'll have seeds. The seeds will just want to void. I could reprocess them. I just don't really care too much about doing that. Because, of course, the honey essence is just going to be super helpful without needing to get too much honeycomb and honey bottles and stuff from them. Should speed things a little bit up, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, let's see. So, what can we actually do with the honey essence? I know we can probably make honey bottles and honeycomb. Is there anything else we can do with this? No. Okay. That's fine. Just curious. Didn't know if we could convert them straight to honey blocks or anything like that. Um, real quick. How are we doing down here? Well, we're getting, getting plenty. But why is none of these actually being occupied? Apparently, I goofed at some point. Hold on. Let me out of here. Oh, it's because there's a mechanism pipe there. Um, let's get that fixed right away. I guess I didn't pay attention enough to this, that's for sure. But now... We're pushing these hard, harder. Oh, man, I am missing, like, a few things here. It's not like I really care about copper, but, you know, be nice to have all of these running. It looks like they're able to keep up with power. The modular routers thing is doing pretty well, which is fantastic to see. I'll definitely have to use that a little bit more. With entangled blocks being so expensive, definitely have to use that a little bit more. Alright, how's this side doing? Is this having the same issue? I mean, you're cleared. You're full. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're having that issue over here yet. Okay. What is happening... Oh, I just never did this with uranium. That's why uranium's so backed up. That's my fault. It's because I didn't have any, and then I started the whole thing back up again. All right. That should be good. Let's get back topside. So, what my hope really is, um, is I don't know how far we're going to get into the bee stuff. I just know we need to get started. And getting started is kind of what we've done. Yeah, basically. That's why I really... That's one of the biggest reasons I haven't changed from anything. like Because this, this is like the simplest mechanism one, right? Like, it, it's... um, I guess it's not the simplest because you have the ore doubling. But this one's the ore tripling, which just requires oxygen instead of sulfuric acid. So it is probably, um, it's one of the more middle tier, but honestly, I've got so much crap. It's not even funny. Like what? Let's see. Gold. I have 155,000. So I don't have a whole lot of gold, but let's see. Iron. Do do do. Where in the world? I have 88,000 iron blocks. That is ridiculous. 799k. Yeah, I'm almost to a million iron. I don't know if I'll ever need that much iron, but I don't know what the, all the mods and iron stars take and all that stuff. So, let's see. Um, do do do. Bees, right? So, productive bees. I think we got a quest completion, didn't we? With the bee quest requiring combs, the recipe will not be shown. Make sure to look them up in JEI if you need them. 
Capturing bees, bee cages. Okay, we can just craft those up. Finding nests, your first beehive, just get a normal beehive. Advanced beehive, get an advanced beehive. Centrifuge, expansion boxes, honey treats, and then that kind of goes into the breeding of bees. And then the miscellaneous breeding of bees. Breeding and converting. Aside from luring bees in the nest, most bees require either breeding or conversion to be crafted. No, that isn't a typo. Um, bee breeding requires, of course, two bees. Um, you feed a bee a specific item to convert it to a new bee. Alright. What is this? Why is there a star? I wonder if it's telling you that you kind of need that for all the mod stein star or something. Is there anything else like that? Because I don't, I genuinely haven't paid attention enough probably for seeing that. I don't know. But I know we have like the unobtainium bee, which is something that I want to try and obtain. Um, but I don't even, yeah, we'll have to figure out how we get the unobtainium. Um, just breed all the modium and vibranium. So vibranium. Breed a Draconic Bee with an Ancient Bee to get a Vibranium Bee, an Ancient Bee. I kind of wish this was set up a little bit more, like, in a line, but I know it's harder to do that. So you got the Ancient Comb, feed a Diamond Bee a block of Netherite. Uh, all the Modium Bee breed with a Withered Bee with an Ancient Bee. So you've got to go from here to here. Feed a Skeletal Bee with a Withered Rose. So, Skeletal Bee, placed some, place some imp advanced beehives in a unit area the bees will move in over time spawned with an empty beehive in the dark hmm that one might be a little bit more difficult because I don't think I've ever done the skeletal bee but I also want to make sure that we're bee breeding and genes and all of that stuff soon compared to what I did in the direwolf 20 because I don't want to waste time Breeding up bees that aren't the best. What do you got? Disappointment? Okay. So, let's see. Do -do -do. And I guess we could just start with um, normal bees. Let's go. Let's look at honey traits real quick. So, sturdy cages. Let's, let's do this. Sturdy cages. Uh, cages. So, bee cages. Grab those. Put them in my inventory. Okay. Uh, let's get a beehive. Let's do step by step here. So, there's an oak, advanced oak beehive. There's a normal beehive. Um, oak expansion box. Okay, so there's quest completions, right? No? Did that not quest complete? Are you kidding me? There it goes. Yeah, and that's one of my problems with productive bees, is I don't like waiting. Genuinely, I, that's one of my least favorite things about this mod, is waiting. Okay, so we're just gonna... Climb through these different things. Upgrading bees. Uh, we've already got productive al production alpha from like a quest upgrade or something like that forever ago. Um, so this should get us into kind of what we want to start with, right? Uh, we got a reed nest. Lure bees in any overworld uh, biome. A reed nest will work in any overworld biome and will lure in a mason bee or a reed bee. Okay, so we're going to start this off probably let these complete here real quick. So my thought is to try and actually get these bee cages um automatically or well semi-automatically because i'm not sure if we could really get these automatically because you need emeralds and i really don't have a good way of emeralds unless we did mystical agriculture of course uh and that is a supremium uh let's see so 
So let's bookmark this. Do do do. I don't need to press recipe. I need to press use, right? What am I? I'm like, I'm fumbling here. Apologies. I am like fumbling real hard all of a sudden. Just like brain just turned off for a second there. Okay. Uh, you know what we could do? Um, use. Mystical. Where is my other infusion crystal? Where is my master infusion crystal? What happened to that? I know I had one. Because I took forever making it. And it's not in my backpack, right? Uh, do I just need to make another one? I really don't want to do. Okay, just made another one. We'll get over it. Okay, so Prudentium. And then from this one, we want to go to this one. From this one, we want to go to this one. And I'm accidentally doing it again. Hold on. Yeah. The only issue I've seen is if you have um if you have two recipes trying to use the same thing, it becomes that issue, but you know, that it it's not it's a single use item and I know I remember when it didn't work. That's the biggest thing. I remember when this didn't work like this, and it was much more of a pain with everything. I wish you would just stick to that center crystal. I think I actually have enough Supremium, but I want to get Insanium. Probably eight of that. Master Infusion Crystal. Okay. Eight of that for farmland. So we'll let that process. Um, so what else do I need? So just Emeralds. One, two, three, four. And then Prosperity Seed Base. I basically want to make the bees stuff like super simple. Um, and if I can use the auto trading stuff from easy villagers to get bee cages and sturdy bee cages and all of that stuff a little bit, that would be fantastic. So that's an emerald seed. Um, let's grab a botany pot. Yeah, um, the whole quantum ring, yeah. Um, the one thing I will say that I did like that they did with the quantum ring was the actual uh, upgrade, this thing, the quantum bridge card. I will say that is actually pretty cool because then you kind of have the support of that quantum ring, which allows for dimensional travel and infinite range all at the same time. And it also doesn't add any extra weight on your power draw. I mean, the quantum ring does, but not the card. 
So, you know, pretty cool. Okay, and Sanium Farmland. Um, do 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 ho. There it is. My enchanted diamond ho. So that should be what I need for that. Um, how do I get the villager? I think it's a beehive, right? It's just a normal everyday beehive to get the villager. Yes. No. It's an advanced. Okay, so we want an advanced beehive. And what are these called again? Traders? The yeah, traders, just straight up trader. Okay. And I probably want to try and get an auto trader or two. We'll trade originally to get the trades we want, and then we'll do this. So uh, let's also grab a crafter. Also, half the time when I make spelling mistakes, it's because I'm typing with one hand. Because I don't, I feel like not moving my hand, my other, my right hand away from my mouse. Uh, it happens. It happens a lot less when I use both hands. Okay. Uh, I think this is what we need, right? So let's go find our area. And see if we can get this partially set up down here. Okay, so uh, I actually need to go do one more thing, because all of our villagers are still over here. One, two, and slashback still doesn't work because I was disabled originally, and I just never decided to figure it out. Wee. Oh, the villagers make noise in your inventory now? That's interesting. Kind of scared me, in all honesty. Okay, so... We're looking for... I think it's his second or third trade, so we may have to just trade with him and risk it. Uh, shears. Cool. Okay, so he's got bee cages. And then I want this guy. I think they all will get bee cages at the end of it, I think. But that's okay. I'm I maybe yeah, maybe they did. The problem the thing is I don't use easy villagers in any of the other packs that I play. Uh, I think FTB Skies was kind of like the first pack I played on here that had it. And I kind of just went with it. So it's not something that I personally enjoy because I actually like having the trade hulls and all that stuff. Uh, that's just my opinion. I love having that stuff. But, yeah. I can see that it's, it's, it's good on performance and stuff. But there's also vanilla enhancements and stuff you can do with bees. To, or well, with villagers, apologies, com just completely cross wires there, um, that would help with performance as well. So I don't know how useful this actually really is. Okay, so let's try this out here. So chest. Uh, let's go oak. Oh, we got a diamond one. That'll work. So I'm thinking... Put this in a corner over here. That'll work. So chest, botany pot, this, that. And then we're going to have our first trader here, second here, trader there. So this guy, this guy. Advanced beehive. I just want an oak. Okay. And then I want to trade bee cages for emeralds. Uh. 
which we're going to need to craft. So actually, I guess these guys kind of need to go down one. They could be right next to each other. It don't matter. Yeah, well, the thing is, is the... Like, if you want a mod that prevents you from breaking workstations over and over again, just get the... I think it's Retrade. Uh, Retrade Curse Forge, I think. There's, um... Yeah, because I know there is trade cycling, but I think this one's for fabric. I know there's another one for forge out there. Actually, I guess this one's for forge and fabric now. Huh. But it's called trade cycling. It's got like 3 million downloads. And the it, basically what it is, is that whenever you go into the villagers, uh, like a normal villager, you see that little arrow with easy, easy villagers, that's what it does. So, it's always an option. <laughs> See, and I don't know if this will properly work like I'm thinking, in all honesty. Because I think what's going to happen, we may have to incorporate laser IOs, counting filters. Because I basically only want to put 64 emeralds in here. And I only want to put 64 B cages and 64 emeralds in that one as well. So let's go laser IO real quick. It's a little overkill for this. But that'll be okay. Whenever we don't really have any mods that do any kind of counting uh, or, you know, stack, you know, filtering or counting. We gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, so... Down, insert, down, insert, and also insert. Right? I think. Because we're going to need to extract out of this one. And that's probably going to be channel orange. So here, channel orange on insert, which is a counting filter. And then insert, but also emeralds. See, but that is overkill. I wish pipes. Like, pipes is a really nice mod. Besides the fact that the pipe upgrades are way too much in the first place. I've always made that complaint since that mod came out. But, yeah, it's, uh, Xnet, I, I am not getting into that. I barely ever got into integrated dynamics. And one day I did. And I think I will probably never try anything else like that again. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I really like the uh, advanced laser connectors. Mwah, you know, chef's kiss on what those can do for you, though. The cross-dimensional energy, because I used that in the Direwolf 20-pack in the very beginning. Oh, it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I love that addition. I just can't wait for him to add gas upgrades, Aww. if he ever does. <laughs> gas upgrades will just make me super happy. So we need to put B cage 64. Uh. 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 
yeah. That's something I, I've been wish wanting for a long time is is uh, gas upgrades. And I think he's been talking about that on Twitter um, a few weeks ago. So I think it's in progress, which is a good thing. Um, and I am excited for that. I'm excited for whenever it happens. That is for sure. So now we're just waiting on emeralds to stockpile. Okay. So that should be... No pun intended. A way to get automated... Stuff. Right? And I'm going to do something that is an abomination. Oop. I actually did not know I could do that. How did I just... Where did that... Yeah, the rewrite on the building gadgets is definitely a fantastic thing. Especially, I love the template thing. The, uh, the template manager. I haven't messed with it too much. But I know that it does pretty pretty good stuff. Uh, but the rewrite, I think, since Direwolf kind of got a lot more information and a lot more, you know, um, practice during uh, mining gadgets and all that stuff, I think it definitely helped out quite a lot with uh, with his remake of it or rewrite of it. I definitely could have made this more compact. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Um, I think the only thing that I probably should have done was make this um, two instead of one. But oh well. We'll leave it. We'll let it run. It'll work. I should have tried building uh, building the B stuff in the mining dimension. Why didn't I try that? I should have tried that. Okay. So we got sturdy cages. That's one thing I wanted to get. Um, nests. Do we have any? We do have a jungle nest. Um, so I think our first bit of bees... Yeah, because this is trying to point us to high-value bees. Because, like, the glowing bee requires a glowstone nest. So that one's actually kind of a bare-bone one. Okay. And I know a quartz bee is the same, or the crystalline bee. Different types of these. Dark oak nests lure three different bees. They can be placed anywhere in the overworld. Okay. Let's just do this real quick. Do do do. Uh, how do we make honey treats? What are the what's the recipe for this? So just honeycomb and a honey block, which is honey block, which is honey bottle. Okay. And then honeycomb. And then honey block. I forget how much I hate making honeycombs. Honey blocks. Yeah, I, I do hope that um, the gas upgrade does come soon. I feel like it definitely is going to add a lot more. But I do... You know, one mod I really miss is um, extra utilities. I know mods, some mods are trying to bring a lot of this stuff back into the game with from extra utils, except for, like, the, the power gen system, uh, the grid power system. But, man, I, I miss the OG. 
Especially because what the way Angel Ring did their their butchering of their own mod with the power and XP gain and all that stuff. They should have just made a whole new version. Whole new mod. Energized Angel Rings or something. Because man, Angel Rings nowadays sucks. Uh, let's see. Let's get this auto-crafted, I think. So we're looking at honey blocks. And we're looking at honey bottles. We're looking at glass bottles. And then we're looking at honey treats. And honeycomb. Okay. Perfect. And honey treats. Uh, 256, please. So I think this stream, definitely we aren't getting into too much bee shenanigans. But we are getting to the point where we'll actually be able to kind of progress through it. Hopefully a bit quicker than what I did with Direwolf 20. But who knows. I may accidentally slack on certain parts of these. But it's because I don't know what I'm doing, in all honesty. So we'll see. I just need gin industry back, you know? Forestry, all that stuff. Crossbreeding trees. Man, that was such a cool concept. Nope. I don't think I need a green bee for anything. Green. Carpenter bee. What are you used for? You are used for a lumber bee. Lumber bees are used for... Plastic bees, farmer bees, rancher bees. The only one I could see is a plastic bee. But the plastic bee is useless because I've already got... I don't... I have too much plastic already, so I don't really need that. I guess I should have captured that carpenter bee. Um, what bees do I have by now? Anyway, yellow, yellow, normal. Got a digger bee. I'm gonna look at what that guy actually does. Got a mason bee. Another mason bee. Some normal bees. Another mason bee. Yeah, that's why I said Gendistry first. It's because Gendistry made that mod so much better. <laughs> so much. Yeah, forestry itself was, was horrific. Did this give us a quarry bee in a thorium? What is thorium? Cerium and polonium. Is this extreme reactors? Is that what that is? I make a skulk bee with the digger bee. Uh, quarry bee just gives us different types of blocks. Not really too interested in that kind of bee. Um, thorium. Hmm? Thorium. Am I spelling it wrong? Thorium. That gives us chem lab stuff. What in the world? Thorium. Use periodic table of the elements to learn about this element. Uh, we can make thorium dust from alchemistry. We can fusion control this to make rhodium. I don't... Yeah, we're getting into like territory that I don't have any idea on what we're actually using it for. A thorium rod. For, okay, so Greg Tech. Okay. Um, I think... No, that's not Greg Tech. It's just... What in the... I don't... I don't... It is Greg Tech. Okay. I wasn't sure for a second. But yeah, Greg Tech, I'm good. I don't care. 
We are not getting into Greg Tech. That is not the point of this series. If I wanted to go insane with Greg Tech, I would go play um, a mod pack that actually is focused around it completely and utterly. And I'm not doing that. I don't have enough time in the day to do that, in all honesty. Okay, this is a uh, formal eviction. Where is my axe? Did I throw my axe away? Uh, let's just do this. <sighs> I don't have enough time in the day. That's my problem with Greg Tech. I don't have enough time to do Greg Tech. If I had enough time, maybe. But I definitely don't. Okay. So I've got a green carpenter bee. What do they have? So he has dineural. Dineural, dineural, dineural. So one of the things we're going to do is get their weather tolerance and I think their behavior, I can't remember fully. Great Tech New Horizon. Yeah, that's the mod pack I was thinking of. I just couldn't think of the actual name of it. Okay, so these guys are going to be captured and they are not going to be allowed to go inside or outside of their nests, basically. Which will allow for us to get some traits that we're going to want. Some genes that we're going to want. And then those two will be bred. Um, hopefully getting us more of those traits in the future. I think is what we're going to try and get from those guys. Hope we got our first sturdy bee cage. So we're just waiting on emeralds to be produced because this guy should basically be full. Yeah. Well, and I mean, I would think it'd also be somewhat easier in the beginning now because you've got AE2 and all of that stuff. Genuinely, I think it'd be easier. I really don't want to sleep through the night either. Honey treat. Let's try and get uh, 600. We're going to use a crap ton of these. Uh, let's see. Glowstone. Get four nests. Get some wooden swords. Uh, get some normal glowstone. Okay, so I'm going to wait for these guys to spawn before I leave this area. Yeah, I can't even remember how the kamikaze bee is. Oh yeah, we need a, like a beehive hat, isn't it? Beehive nest. Yeah, this thing right here, that's what we need, right? And then we let things shoot us. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is coming back to me here.
Where did that B just go? We got a yellow. Oh, and this one's not done. I, I thought it was done. Oh, this thing, the catcher. Is that new? Okay, so we just got Carpenter B and a yellow B. Oh, well. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get that here. Uh, range. Uh, do we have... I, I probably just never even noticed it there whenever I did it the last time. Okay, we're just going to do one. We're going to see if one will benefit us here. Now, does this thing need energy, though? Or is it not... Let's go a distance here. These little little guys, little sparrows or something? That's cute. There's a blue skies house. Where are all the mobs? <laughs> Little, little lag spike. What? Okay, hold on. I think I really need skeletons. Let me get rid of that guy. That guy's annoying. Come on, hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. It's probably like absolutely frustrating to watch because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, caught one. Let's get one more here. Actually, I think I need like a handful of these guys, don't I? Come on, hit me. Man, it is lagging. Oh, that might not be a bad option. Problem is, they're also killing themselves hitting me. <laughs> oh, where are you? Oh, Firefly, I thought you were another kind of bee. How many did we get? Just one? Well, shucks. Next contender. Oh, you have a little bit more health, don't you, huh? Because you're one of the zombie brutes. Come on, bees. Get caught up, picked up. Are they just gonna run away? You kidding me? Uh... 
Where'd the other bee just go? Did he get captured? Nope, I think he ran away. Oh. Yeah, I've done this once before, so yeah, it is. It's a blast. I already knew what I was getting into. But it doesn't help that Coral Tombstone keeps giving me dang Easter eggs. It's not even Easter yet, man. Okay, let's get some cages out of here. Let's get that guy tossed in there. That's what I'm thinking, Cal. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was thinking, ooh, mobs. And then I was like, oh, wait, that's a creeper. I probably shouldn't try that. Uh, any normal mobs? Like skeletons? Like, I haven't seen a skeleton. Genuinely. Where are the skeletons? I guess I still have this guy, right? I just don't want him to die, because that's the problem, is they're probably going to die. Man, that cager is slow as can be, isn't it? What are you? A normal bumblebee? I could probably ride that guy, I think, can't I? I can, like, ride those for some reason. Oh, we got a few of them. So they got very high productivity. Uh, we just need to go crush these guys, right? Oh, well, that might might be helpful, but honestly, I think I've got enough to get at least the beginning parts of the genes. Okay, let's toss this stuff away. Let's go... Let's go to the nether real quick. Nah, yeah, because the nether, it doesn't really matter. Because these guys have to be spawned and then be basically bred together, I think, to get us anywhere. Uh, you know what? Let's put the, uh, the portal right here. Is that a weird spot to place the portal? Probably. Can I do portals this size? What's the minimum I can do a portal? Okay, that apparently. I think it has to be taller, doesn't it? To, to work, maybe? I don't know. I don't know the dimensions at which you can actually do a custom portal shape. Um, uh, honestly, I didn't even know there was a mage set. <laughs> Tells you how much I know, right? I mean, it does look pretty cool from this. I wouldn't, I would have to put it on to see. It's a battle mage set? That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> huh. Definitely have to look at that, because I don't know. Two by three is the smallest. Hmm. Is this stuff brimstone? But I don't see really too much fire. Where's the fire and brimstone? I was promised fire and brimstone. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know. All right, let's get you guys set down.
get at least one B that we probably need to get some something like that. Where is there's some more glowstone. This is the one thing that I really hate about productive bees is the waiting on these guys to actually spawn. But that'll be okay. I think after these guys spawn, I'm probably going to wrap this up because, of course, tomorrow I do have to go to work at pretty early. So, you know, fun, fun all around. And I think we'll probably stream again tomorrow night. Um, so there'll probably be no episode. The Aether? Yes. Um, I I think so, too. I think it is one of those... It, it's, it's one of those nostalgic mods where I think it's pretty cool. But um, I think the Aether just kind of lost a lot of potential whenever they, they, had, they didn't add any content to it, right? Goodness, Rockstar. You probably do need to go to sleep, man. But yeah, um, the Aether compared to like the Twilight Forest, I mean the Twilight Forest, we won't get into that. But Blue Skies, I've not messed with too much, but it's like uh, Divine RPG and, and uh, that is one of my favorites. But man, I have not seen that mod in forever because I don't think, I think at the last time it was on 1.12, they're still up, trying to update it. But it's like, the fact that it takes so long to update mods nowadays is because, well, Minecraft really just doesn't care about its modders. Or, you know, it cares about Marketplace, but not uh, not Java Edition. Any any content like that. But yeah, the Aether... Because I, I, I don't remember playing the Aether 2. I genuinely don't. Uh, I think there were some pretty cool things with that. But if I were to make a Dimension mod, I genuinely would clear the player's inventory. Uh, like, have it, you know, be a Dimension-specific inventory, in a sense. If that's possible. Because honestly, I think having them start fresh with nothing, forcing them to actually progress through the dimension to get back would be a pretty cool idea. Like, not even spawn a portal, right? Just straight up, hey, guess what? You're going to have to get everything back and get back with a portal that you'll have to create by progressing. I think that would be a cool concept, and I think the Aether should have done that or should do that. But I don't know if the Aether 2 did something like that, genuinely. So, it'd be a pretty cool concept. But yeah, um, tomorrow, no episode. We'll probably just do another live stream of this. Probably an hour, two hours long, depending on when I actually get started. You know, some things may just go wrong at work and I may have to stay over. I'll, I'll post a community tab, probably, uh, if I'm not able to. But, uh, you know... We'll go with it. We'll assume that I'm going to be able to get a live stream going tomorrow. And uh, we'll definitely progress through some more B stuff. I think the next few live uh, few episodes are basically going to be live streams. And I'm probably not going to cut them down in any capacity. Because I don't have the time to do that either. Um, but yeah, so we've got our first kind of gene figured out. Which was the Kamikaze B. We'll have to get some gene squishing going. Um, and then once we get the gene squishing, I do want to try and get... I don't really need to do, like, the Metaternal and the Diternal and all that stuff. Or the Dineural. Uh, I probably could just do this in the Mining Dimension or something. But I'm going to try and just get them all. Um, I I work uh, as an I, a person of IT. I can't really be more specific than that. Um, so just kind of odds and ends with IT, working on computers, uh, fixing infrastructure, stuff like that. You know... Fun, fun stuff. That's all I gotta say. Um, and I know recently I've been replacing uh, some old battery backups in a uh, old closet that uh, kind of been abandoned. Uh, well, not really abandoned, but like not taken care of well in the past few years. And so I've been cleaning that up and uh, 
it's been taking a lot longer. So, you know, things may go wrong in that situation. But, you know, IT stuff. That's all I can give. But thank you, guys. Stay awesome. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Also, uh, before I go, I do have some plans in the future for some potential PC builds. Um, that is going to probably be a thing. Not on this channel. I'll probably post a community thing when that happens where I just kind of do in-person content because my face has been shown. It's not like a mystery. If you look through my channel, you may be able to find it. Um, but I also have a TikTok under the exact same name, which is Shut Door. So I guess not the exact same name, but Shut Door. Because I always put door shutter slash shut door at the beginning of my videos. Um, but, yeah. Um, we may do that. That may be something to look at. So, thank you. Stay awesome. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.